G'day. Alright, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Azerith or Azerith or whatever name you want to pronounce it. This is the program here. Alright, this is how you can download movies, applications and stuff from the internet. The address, there it is in nice big print. So I'll leave that up there or you can just pause this tutorial so you can see that address. Okay, you've seen it now? That's good. I'll just get rid of it. Alright, so here we go. Scroll down, scroll down. Latest. We might as well get the latest one. I'm assuming you've got Windows. So just go like that. There you are. Save the file. Let me just bring this up here. Save file. Right, wow, look at that. I'd already started downloading it. Just to show you. Okay, so we don't need to... I'll just hit the pause button now. This is also what one of the little Azerith files look like. The one with the little blue frog. Okay. That's an Azerith icon. Alright, so it's downloaded now, so you can either open it from there or go to your folder and install this first. You need to install this. This is the client that enables you to download from the sites. Okay, now here's a site that you can go to. So copy this and paste it into your browser up here. And away we go. And this is, this is one of my favourite sites, so I get most of my stuff from here. Here it shows you the, the latest, right, in games, movies, the latest TV, and the latest applications. Right, that's just the latest. If you want to see other stuff, you just come up to the top up here. And there you go, games, movies, TV, applications, music, and the forums are worth checking out as well. All right. So, I'm going to go to the movies up here, because I've already got all the latest ones, and I'm going to be looking for a particular file that's twice the size of normal ones, because there's something I want to show you. So I scroll down here, look for one, where is... We're looking for one that's... Here we go, The Last King of Scotland, that'll do. 1.38 gig. So that's twice the size of a normal 700 meg movie. And this has got... Look at this, lots of seeds, been downloaded heaps. This is a really healthy file. So we just do a left click, wait for it, load up, there we go. Now what we do here, again left click, download this torrent. Now this is not downloading the movie, this is downloading the torrent. See it's already there, it only, it's only a couple of KB. It's that little blue frog, there we go. So what we do here, now I'm presuming that you've installed your Azerith, you've downloaded and installed it, because you need to do that before you can open these. Okay, so then we go open, and it'll automatically open the program for you. You don't have to go through your program folder. And here it is here. Here you can view, there's CD1, CD2, and down the bottom here we have a sample file. Okay, so now we just click OK, and come up here. Now here's a trick. First thing that I do normally is I right click, I go to advance, and set my up speed. See how it's automatically unlimited. So I go to manual. I'm on 1.5 down connection. So I find 8 works well for me. Now the next thing that I want to do is double click this. That's a double left click. And it'll open the file up and I can have a look in here. Now if I go to my peers, you can see, yep, look, there's a few people there's a 100% and that's what we need. Make sure that there's a hundred that there's a few copies where it's a hundred percent. Some of them you'll see that right down the end once it's finished doing all of this that it's only ninety eight point five or something like that. Well, you don't want it because you'll never complete the download. So just ensure that first. All right, now this is the main trick here. We go to our files. Now I just want to have a look at the sample because I don't know what it looks like. Well, actually I do. This is a bloody fine copy, but let's say I don't. So what I can do here is left click just once, then scroll down. Now this is the file I want to keep. I want to stop all these others. So by holding my shift key down, I'll say that again, the shift key, and just clicking once, it's highlighted all of those. See? And now what I do in here is right click just once, set my priority to do not download. Now see it's going do not download, these files which I didn't highlight are still normal. Now go back to my 
Torrance up here. And you'll see, here we go. There's my download speed. So I'll have that little sample file in 13 minutes at this speed. See it's dropping. It'll, and it'll fluctuate. It'll go up and down until it sort of settles down. Eventually the up speed will kick in, but that will not exceed more than 8 because I've preset that. Okay. Once you've got your download, let's... Um, oh, actually, actually, I'll just pause and we'll leave that. And what I mean by pause, I mean I'm going to pause the program that I'm using to capture this. You don't do any pausing. Actually, I can't sit around and wait for this to happen. Um, eventually, when you've got it, it will drop down into here. And once it's down into here, what it's doing then is it's uploads, but it's also then you go to the folder that you've predetermined where you want it all to be sent to, and you can have a look at your sample file. And you go, oh, yeah, that looks really good. In that case, you'll grab the rest of it. Or if you don't want it, you go, oh, no, that's crap. Just right-click here. And you can go remove, and or this one here, remove and delete both. That'll delete the torrent file and the actual data file, which is, you know, the entire movie. Because, you know, if it's crap, well, then you don't want it. But this is a good one. And in your, let's say you've looked at the sample yourself and going, oh, yeah, yeah, I want that. So again, we do that double left click. We go into here where we stopped to do not download anywhere in here now we can just do a right click and again go to our priority and set to normal you see that all just jump back to normal go back to my torrents up here and at that speed it's going to take me six days <laughs> but yeah this will pick up trust me as it's always in the beginning is very slow to pick up until it starts to read you this will later on will probably get 50 kb something like that and you know it's a big file so i'll probably have it in about oh i don't know seven eight hours it will vary with different people patience is the key word with downloading that's for sure once the whole file is downloaded bang as i said it will appear down here and then you have the choice of leaving it there so it can seed for others or you can then just right click it and remove it now, don't remove the data like we showed before, like it would be this one here. You would just go remove, and then it'll just take it out of the Azareth, and it'll be where, in my case, my movies go to my videos, and there it is there, see? It shows as the full file being there, but it's not. So I go to open it, and then I go to unzip it at this stage. It'll tell me no archives found because it hasn't been downloaded yet. And it's the same when you go to view your um, your sample file. It'll be in there. Same thing. VC Player is actually pretty good. If I downloaded a little bit more of this, you don't actually have to download the whole file. Um, I, I remember in my case, it's a 14 um, meg sample file. I think I downloaded about 6 meg. And then I was able to actually view a little bit of it. I've actually downloaded this, as I said, so I'll give you a little peek at it, let you see the quality. Here's the actual movie itself. Ooh, Rude Bits. Oh, yeah. So that's a fine quality, as you can see. Okay. And that's about it. Um, there's plenty more material you can read. I want to keep this tutorial, tutorial fairly short so it doesn't take too long to load up on the net. And um, go for it and enjoy. Any questions, you can post them to me on my site. And I may or may not answer you. <laughs> See, we got our speed going up here a little bit now. This, this won't get any higher than this because remember we preset it. And, of course, you want your down speed unlimited, so you don't go in there and change that. See, look, we're cooking now, 28, 31, 33. Oh, we're on our way. This will come down dramatically. All right. Enjoy.